Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you for tuning in. Do you plan to move to Canada? If so, my friend, you have come to the right place. Because I will give you my in-depth list of the top 20 advantages of living in Canada. Given that I have been a resident of Canada for more than three years, I am qualified to share my thoughts. So let's dive into it. Number 1. Canada is beautiful. Let's face it, Canada is one of the most beautiful locations on earth. In addition to its mountains, woods, lakes, beaches and animals, this nation is next level magnificent. Even the cities I mean have some incredible historical sites and architectural wonders. Canada is the place to visit if you like the beauty of nature. Additionally, if you like snow and winter, you will undoubtedly enjoy it. If you relocate to Canada from a place where snow is almost unheard of, then living in Canada which transforms into a winter wonderland will undoubtedly steal your breath away. You also get the chance to take part in amazing and distinctive winter sports that tourists travel great distances to enjoy such as skiing or snowboarding down a mountain covered in snow or ice skating on a frozen lake. Next is free healthcare. The healthcare system in Canada is generally free. This is undoubtedly one of the best things about living in Canada, especially when you compare to that with the US. Due to its care and quality, Canada is often rated as having one of the top healthcare systems in the world. One of the primary factors contributing to the good quality of life and outstanding general health of the nation is the Medicare Universal Healthcare Program. Canada is certain that everyone has a right to excellent and fair healthcare. Compared to other nations, Canada spends a significant amount of its yearly gross domestic product on healthcare even though the Medicare is tax funded. Knowing that medical care won't cost you thousands of dollars might be the most important thing to live in Canada. Healthcare is free not only for permanent residents and citizens but also for people with student or work permit. Multicultural and Diverse Community In general, Canada is a fair, multicultural, diverse and progressive nation. This is one of the advantages for foreigners, particularly if you want to live in one of its big cities. The majority of Canadians really hold the view that variety strengthens a nation as a consequence. Unlike in other nations, the presence of immigrants in Canadian culture has been so accepted that being an immigrant does not instantly distinguish one from others. For instance, more than 140 different languages are spoken in Toronto, the biggest city in Canada. Foreigners should fit in well since 20% of the population was born outside the nation. Ontario, British Columbia, Quebec and Alberta are where most foreigners settle. The fact that around 1 in 4 of the population was born outside of the nation gives the experience more context. Your chances of broadening your horizons personally are quite good if you can successfully manage the immigration procedure. Excellent quality of life One of the most educated population in the world resides in Canada. Also, the employment rate is quite high and there are many social support networks set up to make life simpler for Canadian citizens. Free healthcare, breathtaking natural scenery, thriving economy round out this fair sweet package which may make relocating to Canada even more appealing if you consider all the benefits of doing so. The government pays you for childcare or the Canada child care benefit the lesser income you earn, the more the benefit is. The next point is clean air and water. 
The World Health Organization routinely ranks Canada's air quality as among the greatest in the world. And it makes sense given the vast amount of underdeveloped natural area and breathtaking mountain ranges in the wonderful country of Canada. Anyone who has just relocated to Canada will also discover that they feel better simply by getting there. And the same holds true for the water. To put things into context, 9% of the world's freshwater resources are found in Canada. This implies that even if you get your water from your kitchen sink in bigger cities, it will still be of greatest quality. The next point is Canada is safe. When it comes to immigration, safety is a concern for many people. It is well known that Canada is one of the safest countries in the world. The people are friendly, few crimes occur and moreover, police responses times are incredibly fast. However, you do need to approach it wisely. Never let anything go unattended. Lock up your car while it's not in use. The fundamental personal safety principles you use anywhere in the world would also be applicable here. Low crime rate. With a score of 39.03, Canada was ranked as having the 53rd highest crime rate in the world in 2018. The United States scored 55.84, making it the 30th highest nation in the world for this problem. Compared to Canada, the United States has about 40% higher crime rate. The overall crime rate in Canada has been progressively dropping since 1991. Canada is one of the safest places in the world because violent crimes is rare there. Education in Canada Similar to the public schooling system in the US, Canadian public schools allow students to enroll in grade 12s without the need for additional expenses. The cost of attending a Canadian college or university is somewhat greater than that for students in Europe, but the cost of pursuing an advanced degree in Canada is far lower than it is in the United States. In addition, Canada is one of the very small number of countries that ranks in the top 10 in science, engineering, and maths. Canada loves education and has always made sure all young people have access to the finest education possible. The government is the only one in the world to spend more per capita on education. Students in Canada do well in all academic areas as a consequence and they generally continue their schooling longer than children in most other nations. This has contributed to the development of an educated, wealthy society that nevertheless offers excellent professional prospects for competent foreigners. Proximity to the US The provinces of Ontario, Quebec, British Columbia and Alberta are home to more than 85% of the country's population. By alone, Ontarians make up 40% of the country's demographics. Additionally, almost 90% of the houses are located within 100 kilometers of the US border. That implies that when you live here, there are vast tracts of open terrain that are still in the natural form and simply waiting to be discovered. There are several outdoor activities available such as fishing, sailing and skiing. There are several locations where you may be the sole one there as well. Canadians are very polite. Even when they are aware that you are a foreigner or a tourist, most Canadians are kind and hospitable. However, there are always exceptions to any rule. People will stop to talk to you when you are walking, shopping at Walmart, or even while you are in a grocery store. If you come from a culture that values independence above all else, the feeling of community you encounter in this nation will be a welcome change. Employment opportunities. In order to maintain economic development and address skill shortages in various areas, 
the Canadian government continues to stress the necessity to recruit foreign workers to the nation. The way Canada handles immigration is nothing new, but during the last two years, the world situation has evolved. In contrast to other countries where unemployment is still rising, Canada is mostly untouched. Perhaps foreigners who have the necessary knowledge and experience will discover that Canada's economic environment is more tolerant than other countries that were severely affected by the global crisis. Better work culture. I now live in Canada and formerly lived in India. Workplace culture is an exception despite the fact that I think India is the greatest in many areas of life. India has to do a lot of better in this area. For example, in Canada, the work starts between 8 and 9 a.m. and ends between 4 to 5 a.m. In India, the work starts around 10 to 11 a.m. and someone comes even at 12 p.m. and the work usually finishes at 8 to 10 p.m. Economic strength and stability. For an aspiring foreigner, Canada's economy, which is among the strongest in the world, offers a wide range of job options. The foundation of Canada's robust, safe economy in its banking system, which has been named the most stable in the world for several years running by the World Economic Forum. Canada has the second highest standard of living among the G20 countries because of its financial stability which enables it to provide excellent quality of life for the great majority of its citizens. Your gross savings will be higher if you compare your job to any other any employment in India regardless of the kind of work you do or how much you earn in relation to how much you spend. For instance, in Canada, practically everyone can purchase an iPhone with his or her one-month wage, yet in India an iPhone remains unaffordable for more than 50% of the population. Low Population Despite being a relatively large nation, Canada has a fairly small population, less traffic making the drive to work smoother and less stressful. Roads are better as a result, things are organized and everything is well maintained. Daily essential items are cheaper. Most daily basics cost less or around the same as they do in India. Gas and food for instance, lentils, rice and spices for example cost similar or less as that of India. This is obviously a strong argument to consider immigrating to Canada. Cars are cheaper. Compared to India, the prices of cars is much lower in Canada. In India, a Toyota basic model car costs roughly around 20 lakhs compared to 10 lakhs in Canada. Considering the income in Canada as compared to India, this is definitely very cheap. All Canadians adhere to law and order which are well maintained. They follow all the laws and are really well behaved citizens. Canadian laws recognize and protect basic rights and freedoms such as liberty and equality. Growing economy. The 10th biggest economy in the world right now is Canada. There are many economic liberties available to citizens in this country since it embraces a free market economy whenever it can. If you wish to start a business while you are here, it will be a quick and easy process to get you up and running. The unemployment rate in the nation is far lower than of any region of the globe unless you prefer more traditional career opportunities. Canada's solid economic foundations are based on the country's vast natural resources. The country's strong GDP is boosted by the sale of gold, copper, iron ore and uranium in addition to the significant revenues from the oil and gas sector.
Indians, Indians everywhere. If I walk around in my neighborhood or in the downtown area for a 10 minute walk, I can expect to encounter at least 50 Indians. Although not to this extent, I was aware that Indians are extensively scattered over the globe. When you feel homesick, it is almost always a relief to come across some familiar people. Additionally, because there are so many Indian restaurants in every major city, you won't miss authentic Indian food. Abundance of natural resources. Natural resources including jewels, fossil fuels, timber and other construction materials are in great supply in Canada. Because Canada has a wealth of natural resources, it is inexpensive to perform things like construct houses and repair dwellings. Canada is generally a wealthy nation, which is good news for its people who want assistance. I believe you now have a number of good reasons to visit Canada. If you find this content useful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing the channel. Thank you so much. I hope to see you soon in my next video.